The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If she can't prove... Cannot remain ambassador. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durelion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durelion's rightful property. Has Empress Selene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware Her Imperial Majesty had conferred with the Queen of Ferelden on this matter. The Empress... has not yet had the opportunity to do so. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Let's hope his arrogance doesn't return. Even should he leave, the Marquis will share his thoughts on us upon his return to Battle Royale. Every guest we receive, and we will receive them, will spread the Inquisition's story. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. If every noble wandering by is as stubborn as the Marquis, what good is it talking to them? Every kingdom is subject to its lords. The Inquisition will require their goodwill to survive. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Let's close the breach. The Order was founded to fight magic. We must first convince the Lord Seeker to bring the Templars out of exile. We've received word from a knight recruit. They gather at Therenfall Redoubt. It has been vacant for decades. Why go there? We must approach the Lord Seeker again to get anywhere. We can ask him then. The Lord Seeker made it clear he isn't interested in anyone unimportant. So we must change how he sees us, no? If it's status the Lord Seeker seeks, the Inquisition will approach him after allying with the noblest houses in Orlais. They'll come with us to Therenfall and demand the Templars help close the breach. You believe that will work? Even the Lord Seeker would find it difficult to ignore so many nobles on his doorstep. Yes, especially when led by the Herald of Andraste. Is it my good looks you need, or my winning smile? Rumors you were saved from the fate by Andraste have grown legion among the Templars. We've done our part to encourage them. A Herald with a few companions may be dismissed, easily set aside. That same herald returning with noble support will be reconsidered, as will the power of the Inquisition. This could be why Andraste saved me, to lead her Templars against the Breach. Perhaps also to convince the Lord Seeker to abandon the mania that has seized him. With respect, after his appearance in Valroyo, hang what the Lord Seeker thinks. We do not need the Lord Seeker. We need his Templars, with or without his approval. The Breach will not wait for our differences to settle. The Herald of Andraste! Lord Esmeral Abernash, honored to participate. It is not unlike the second dispersal of the reclaimed Dale. Nothing. I'd heard a Trevelyan or two took up the cause there. The Lord Seeker is willing to hear our petition about closing the breach. A credit to our alliance with the Inquisition. Care to mark the moment? 
ten Ordesian houses walk with you. No speeches. Just get me the chance to ask the Templars to help close the breach. Ceremony has value. Herald. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'd divulge what finally got their attention. Rumor will, if you won't. What do you mean? The Lord Seeker won't meet us until he greets the Inquisition in person. Quite a surprise after the spat in Val Royale. The Lord Seeker may not be singling the Inquisition out for praise, Lord Avernash. A meeting is a meeting. Get his ear. See if you can't bend it to do something advantageous. Here we are. They're in fall, Redoubt. Hmm, defensible. I like it. Someone worked out some issues building this place. It appears they've sent someone to greet you. Present well. Everyone is a little tense for my liking. Knight Templar, Sir Delrin Baris, second son of Ban Jevrin Baris of Ferelden. Sir Baris, may I be so honored as to present Lord Esmeral Abanage? I'm the one who sent word to Cullen. He said the Inquisition works to close this breach in the Vale. I didn't think you'd bring such lofty company. Varys, moderate holdings, your family. And the second son? <laughs> this promise of status has garnered interest from the Lord Seeker. Beyond sense. The sky burns with magic, but he ignores all calls to action until your friends arrive. Should a Seeker lead the Templars this way? In an emergency, if there's no other recourse, but his goal should be to restore them to order. He has taken command, permanently. If he feels there is a holy mandate. That is what the Lord Seeker claims, and our commanders parrot him. The Lord Seeker's actions make no sense. He promised to restore the order's honor, then marched us here to wait. Templars should know their duty, even when held from it. A Templar who remembers duty. I thought we'd never find one. Winova, the Lord Seeker, and every able-bodied knight will help the Inquisition seal the breach. If you think we're right, abandon the Lord Seeker and help us. We can't abandon our orders. Not while the officers who survived the Conclave follow him. We've been asked to accept much after that shameful display in Valroyo. Our truth changes on the hour. Don't keep your betters waiting, Barris. There's important work for those born to it. The Lord Seeker has a request before you meet him. These are the standards. An honored right centered on the people, the Maker, and the Order. The Lord Seeker asks that you perform the right so he may see the Order in which you honor them. What if I fail? Well, there's no correct answer. The ritual simply shows Watchers who you are and what you value. If the Lord Seeker wants to analyze the Inquisition, let him do it when we meet. It's not only the Inquisition he's interested in. The Lord Seeker changed everything to meet you. Not the Inquisition, you. By name. Why? I don't know. He's been fixated on you ever since your horde of nobles arrived. The Lord Seeker makes us shuffle flags around. Refuse! Let's meet the man already. We'll complete the ritual as the Lord Seeker requests. When you've completed the rite, I'll take you to him. Once you finish the standards, the Lord Seeker will see you, Harold. 
Hang your own draperies, knight. We've business to conduct. What does the Lord Seeker want to see, Templar? The Herald's choice, Avanash, not yours. He's welcome to it. Standards Chantry are and Andraste, some upstart order. Bride of the Maker, Lady of... Traditionally, a participant in the Rite now explains their choices to those assembled. Those are my choices. The rest is my own affair. It's rather not. I'll not be shut out of any explanation these clods understand, if we're bringing them to heal. I suppose those are your intentions. My intent is to deal with people who matter. You helm louts are wasting the Inquisition's time and my time. Unacceptable. The Lord Seeker awaits you both. Follow me. It's necessary, you know. You don't run a battlefield by committee. Without faith, you've no knights. You've... Knight Captain. You were expecting the Lord Seeker. He sent me to die for you. Knight Captain. Lord Esmerel Abernash. Honored. It is not unlike the second dispersal of the reclaimed Dale. No doubt rank puts you above such things. A pity more people don't understand that. <laughs> this is the Grand Alliance the Inquisition offers. Cerberus, I'm right in assuming the Knight Captain has seen better days. You, be ready. Yes, be ready to be left behind, Knight Captain Denham. The Lord Seeker had a plan, but the Herald ruined it by arriving with purpose. It sowed too much dissent. Knight Captain, I must know what's going on. You are all supposed to be changed. Now we must purge the questioning knights. For once, I agree with the... The Elder One is coming. No one will leave Ferenfal who is not stained red. Make us breath. We must test the Herald. The Lord Seeker will see. Is this shape useful? Will it let me know you? Everything tells me about you. So will this. Watch. You don't fool me, demon. I see through you. I see through you. <laughs> being you will be so much more interesting than being the Lord Seeker. Do you know what the Inquisition can become? You'll see. When I'm done, the Elder One will kill you and ascend. Then I will be you.
I saw through your game. What else do you think you can gain? You are under the mistaken impression that I require consent. Every reaction, every protest, is an answer. Lori is coming, and the Elder One wants you to serve him like everyone else, by dying in the right way. Keep talking, then. I am not your toy. I am Envy, and I will know you. Tell me, Herald, in your mind. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel. Tell me what you see. Wait. Envy is hurting you. Mirrors on mirrors on memories. A face it can feel but not fake. I want to help. You, not Envy. I'm through with your lies, Envy. I'm not a lie. I'm Cole. We're inside you. Well, I am. You're always inside you. It's easy to hear, harder to be a part of what you're hearing. But I'm here, hearing, helping, I hope. Envy hurt you, is hurting you. I tried to help, then I was here, in the hearing. It's, it's not usually like this. If you can explain this, I'm listening. I was watching. I watch. Every Templar knew when you arrived. They were impressed, but not like the Lord Seeker. The Lord Seeker is an envy demon. It wants to be me. Yes. It twisted the commanders, forced their fury, their fight. They're red inside. Anyway, you're frozen. Envy is trying to take your face. I heard it and reached out. And then in. And then I was here. Nothing you say is helping to clear my head. It's your head. I hoped you'd know how to stop it. Well, I don't. All of this is envy. People, places, power. If you keep going, envy stretches. It takes strength to make more. Being one person is hard. Being many, too many, more and more, and envy breaks down. You break out. So if we keep moving in my head, we tire envy into submission? Maybe. I hope it helps. It's more than sitting here waiting to lose your face. Unfair, unfair! That thing kept you whole, kept you from giving me your shape. What could you gain from being me? What could you gain? What? Ah! We'll start again. More pain this time. The Elder One still comes. It's frightened of you. Get out of... Lord Seeker! No, an imposter. 
That monster ensured we weren't prepared. I still don't know what we're up against. It's an envy demon, and I need to know how to kill it. Envy? Then the Lord Seeker. Is caged or dead? Maker. It used the Red Lyrium to corrupt the Order, didn't it? I knew that miserable stuff was risky. They often give us new kinds of Lyrium, our commanders. Some used the red stuff first to prove it was harmless. The knights would have been next. That demon turned our leaders so we couldn't question when this started. Will you keep blaming yourself or help me end this? Templar, what is envy? A coward brother! It studies, makes less mistakes, but most of all, it hides. We need our veterans. Our commanders have turned, but the lieutenants may still be fighting. We'll hold the hall. You find the lieutenants and the uncorrupted Lyrium stores. Bring them here, and I'll give you envy. Show those things no mercy. The Elder One wants her dead. Empress Selene. He hates her, haunts her, wants her dead, but hides. Why? He hid other things, too. Right. Keep them off us! We'll break this beast! Templars, come. I touched so much of you, but you are selfish with your glory. Now I know one. Dark and desperate, death to make yourself alive. I used to be like you. I'm not anymore. You shouldn't be either. The demon is dead. Andraste be praised. She shielded you from its touch. We've numbers across Thedas, but we let this happen. 
Our officers either failed to see it, or were complicit. The Templars are ready to hear what the Inquisition needs of us. If that thing hanging over our heads doesn't terrify you, you're braver souls than I. The Inquisition can't seal the breach on its own. We need the Templars' help. Everyone needs your help. You speak truths we should never have ignored. But the Order is leaderless, gutted by betrayal. We must rebuild it. Your order is a symbol that holds the people's respect. That cannot die today. We offer you an alliance. Supplies, weapons, grounds to shelter you. All we ask is you help us close the breach. Do we take the Inquisition's terms, brothers and sisters? The Templars will come. I hope your stronghold is ready. We'll be ready, whatever's coming. Officers betraying their soldiers, Templars without leaders, a demon imitating the Lord Seeker. We should have taken them to task. The crimes they've committed. Were committed by their officers. The soldiers of the Order will serve. These crimes put them at our mercy. Yet, the terms of this alliance do not benefit the Inquisition as they should. You should have consulted us, Herald. We still need to prepare for them. I have contacts in the lyrium trade. Regular lyrium. If you'd be so kind as to put me in touch with them, I'll secure funding. Uh, how many Templars are expected? A few dozen veterans are coming ahead of the rest to help seal the breach. How soon until these veterans arrive? They're almost here. Templars don't like to be late. Make her. Wait! I came with you to help. I would have told you before, but you were busy. Off the war table, Cole. Now. Yes, I don't belong here. I'm not a war. Call the guards. This creature is not what you... A moment, please, Cassandra. I would like to hear why he came. You help people. You made them safe when they would have died. I want to do that. I can help. He's dangerous. He plays tricks in your head. Don't let him leave. I was trying to help! What are you? A demon? Despair? Pride? Rage? Cole! I'm just Cole! But you won't remember that. <sighs> Forget. Why are your swords strong? Was someone here? I don't know. What were we discussing? I can't remember the last few minutes. What happened? I think we are finished here. Our mission is to close the breach before the veil collapses on itself, yes? We'll need your help when the Templar veterans arrive. Take time to prepare while you can. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Illyrium for the Inquisition's Templars. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than they anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power, instead of comforting the masses.
Mage circles started falling years ago. The Chantry was troubled even before the Divine's murder. Yet many people continue to bear its great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. Are you sure? Families often fight the hardest. Having grown up among four siblings, I concede your point. I found, however, that the only time two parties cannot negotiate is when they cease to speak. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. Planning to steer the history of the world, Ambassador Montillier? I believe the Inquisition is already charting that course. Which brings me to a question, if you have a moment. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? I'd rather not say. Ah, I quite understand. A pleasant day to you. It is good that you salvaged as many Templars as you did, my dear. We will need every Templar, but they will require proper management. We also need to increase our Lyrium supplies considerably. The Chantry may still have stockpiles we can use. I'm not enabling these addicts. We'll cut them off. How noble of you to recruit the Templars only to leave them fevered and powerless in camp. The breach has done more than disfigure the sky. The veil itself is broken. All mages, no matter how skilled, are now in danger of drawing demons to them. Before this crisis is over, you may find that Templars, flawed as they may be, are all that stand between us and chaos. When you say mages are a danger, are you counting yourself? Of course I am, my dear. Every mage who joins the cause is taking a calculated risk, whether they know it or not. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're preaching to the choir, Vivienne. Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? The circle has to be restored if we want to keep the peace. That's comforting to hear, but you'll find opposition to the idea even among friends. It's something to consider, my dear. Oh, the Templars join the Inquisition. Even with Cullen here, I never thought that would happen. Of course, after Kirkwall, I never thought anyone would use Red Lyrium on purpose either. The Templars should know better than anyone what that shit does to people. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my red lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. We can't leave a single piece of that lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? I was planning to put my feet up. Maybe grab a nap. You? Whatever I do, it'll be as far from Cassandra as I can get. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Something must be done, immediately. Nothing will be done. Commander Cullen said the same thing. It's an outrage. There are mages here we know are guilty of heinous crimes. You would let that pass? Yes, as will you. 
We are not here to coddle the Order. You are an ally. Act like one. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. Is there an issue with the Templars? Can I help? The Templars need to learn they have other uses than hunting mages. It's not easy for them. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my meaning. <laughs> you should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things now. <laughs> <sighs> Let's hope the breach has your sense of humor. <laughs> 